ready for the smackdown Get ready for the smackdown Hey, you're gonna react when you're putting the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown Come on! Come, 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 come on, everybody gonna start this party If we turn it to a lemon that we can't go Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Power Plant. I'm Christopher Billings, and we are just a couple of weeks away from No Mercy, and uh, we were told that there's going to be some big announcements tonight regarding No Mercy and the matches, uh, the main event that is going to go on, which I heard announced last week that Joe would be his opponent, and uh, right now we have Melinda Guerrero in the ring That's gonna, she's going to be giving an announcement to us uh, concerning No Mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce the main event for No Mercy. It will put Joe against the current World Heavyweight Champion, Die Hard, in a street fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. It will be a no-holds-barred contest that will surely please and will be a great way to usher us into Survivor Series in late November. There is a lot of speculation that I am giving Die Hard what he wants for his match. I have chosen this stipulation in an effort to put an end to those theories. Enjoy the show, folks. My God, I, I can't believe it. it's going to be a street fight for the World Heavyweight Championship at No Mercy. That is, that's completely, <laughs> that's unheard of. But uh, up next, we've got Pooh Bear taking on the current number one contender, Joe. Now, if Pooh Bear could secure a victory over Joe, that would possibly put him in the title picture. The following contest is scheduled for one fight. Approaching the ring. From Manchester, England, the you know, it, it, it was, uh, a lot of people thought that Joe was just kind of a joke, you know, before, but he's, you know, nobody's laughing now. Joe, at no mercy, gets a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship against Die Hard, and, you know, we just found out it's in a street fight, and uh, Joe, you know, he's, he's a brawler, and being a brawler would definitely play a good part for Joe, being, you know, a physical brawler uh, from the United Kingdom, so... He's got that, that stand-up, or he's got that advantage, I should say, over the World Heavyweight Champion, Die Hard. And that advantage speaks tongues, no matter what anybody says. And when it comes down to it, you know, Joe's got his work cut out for him at No Mercy, but tonight he can't expect Pooh Bear to just be a push-around and a push-over, you know, in this matchup. Pooh Bear knows if he wins, he could be in the title picture. His opponent, accompanied by the show from Brooklyn, New York, Mr. Amazing. And as you see, you know, uh, Pooh Bear, he's, he's coming to his own, you know, the self-proclaimed pretty boy of the power plant. And uh, he's really trying to live up to that hype there. He uh, started out, you know, as a million dollar champion. And, He's just slowly, he's getting there. He's working his way through the ranks. And like I said, tonight if he could secure a win against Joe, that would definitely put him in, you know, maybe not the title picture immediately, but in the long term it probably could. Because uh, if you can secure victory over the number one contender, then you know, that's saying that the number one contender can be defeated by somebody who's not the number one contender. Which is... You know, it's a big deal, and uh, we're about to get this match underway here, and like I said, there's a lot riding on the line for both of them. Uh, Pooh Bear's going to be in action at No Mercy, Joe's going to be in action at No Mercy, and Pooh Bear tries to go on the quick attack there, but Joe, in the in-ring savage that he is, was able to counter that, and now Joe's got Pooh Bear in the DDT off the second rope there. Joe picks Pooh Bear up. Joe whips Pooh Bear to the corner here. No, runs at him. Knee to the side of the face and then a bulldog out of the corner. And now what's Joe going to hear? Oh, just stamping the back of the knee on the back of Pooh Bear's head. I guess he's trying to mess up the pretty complexion of the pretty boy. 
But wait, Pooh Bear counters. Oh, and that running martial arts kick connects. And now Pooh Bear going to work on the arms. Pooh Bear just drops both his knees across the, the elbow area of the arm. Uh, Joe with the kick to the gut. Wait a second, Joe, huge DDT to Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear smartly rolls out of the ring there. Buys himself a little bit of time. Pooh Bear back into the ring. Pooh Bear runs at him. A big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. An overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex. That's raw power than a big running DDT from Pooh Bear. It takes a lot of strength to be able to give run at somebody and then give them a belly-to-belly -belly by throwing them backwards over you. That, that takes quite a bit of strength. And not too many people in the power plant can do a move like that, but somebody such as the pretty boy of the power plant can, which is very impressive. And now Pooh Bear doing those very basic but very nasty shin kicks. Just goes to work on your face. Now wait, Pooh Bear setting up Joe in a single leg Boston Crab here. Joe's trying to wrench out of it. Pooh Bear lets go. Joe counters from the ground. And Joe with a raising knee lift. Joe standing tight here. Wait a second. There's one German suplex. There's two German suplexes. Can Joe get the trifecta? The three German suplexes connect. Joe picks Pooh Bear up from the ground. Joe whipping Pooh Bear towards that corner. Oh, nothing but raw power on that throw. He whipped Pooh Bear so hard into that corner that Pooh Bear's chest bounced off the corner. But Pooh Bear able to counter with the raising knee lift. Joe with a kick to the gut. Pooh Bear counters. Big standing clothesline. Oh, oh, Pooh Bear drops the knee right across the forehead. Oh, and the kick to the gut from Joe. Joe reverse standing tie up there. The rear waist lock, I should say. Pooh Bear, now it looks like two, sh two basic shoulder thrusts just to keep Joe down. Joe, another kick to the gut. Oh, and that, that standing drop kick from Joe to Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear counters from the ground. Pooh Bear runs at him. A huge running DDT to Joe from Pooh Bear. Well, wait a second, what's Pooh Bear doing? Oh, a running drop kick on the ground to the side of the head. Sharp kick to the gut from Joe. Joe whips Pooh Bear to the corner. What's Joe going to do here? Wait a second. Joe told the fans to be quiet. Oh, the big slap across the chest. Wait a second. What's Joe doing? Picks him up. Oh, it's basically a power bomb from the corner, from the bottom corner, with the, the weight of Pooh Bear using his legs. There's nothing fancy about that elbow to the back of the head. Pooh Bear now looks like he may be in a little bit of trouble as Joe is starting to warm up here. And he looks like Joe's going to hit the trifecta, the three German suplexes, one more time. Now Joe's going to work on Pooh Bear's arms. Just hastily dropping the knee right across the back of the arm there. Joe with the side wrist lock here on Pooh Bear. But wait, Pooh Bear counters. You know, and I got to say, going into No Mercy it makes you wonder, does Joe realize how big this matchup is going to be for him? This could be the biggest matchup of his career. Getting a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. It's taken him a while to get here. He has never fought for the World Heavyweight title before. This is a big deal, though. Boy, it's like, what's Joe doing here? Nothing but raw power on that raw, basic spine buster. And now Joe going to work on Pooh Bear's legs. But as I was saying, this would be a very big, it would be a momentous night for Joe if he was to beat Die Hard. Now, a lot of people want to see Die Hard lose that World Heavyweight title. I personally am one of them. But as Die Hard being, since Die Hard is a competitor, and he is the longest reigning world heavyweight champion, Joe is going to definitely have his work cut out for him. Die Hard knows what it's like to be in the ring with a lot of people, and he knows how to fight when his back's to the wall. That's what makes Die Hard such a, a dangerous champion. He knows how to work you down, and he knows how to get inside your head before you get into a match with him. And now, as you see, Joe on the offense here, whipping Pooh Bear into the ropes away. Pooh Bear counters. Joe counters. Joe now with a basic knee smash right to Pooh Bear's knee, uh, top of his kneecap. Joe picks Pooh Bear up into a side headlock. But wait, Pooh Bear counters. Oh, with a reverse atomic, or with an atomic drop. Then that big running belly to belly. Pooh Bear saying, I'm still in this. That running martial arts kick. And now Pooh Bear going to work on Joe's arms. But as I was saying, as long as Joe can handle himself in the match against Die Hard, he should do pretty well. 
Oh, and a big DDT once again from Jody Pooh Bear. Just planting Pooh Bear right on the top of his head there. Nothing fancy about it. Then a spinning belly to belly from Joe to Pooh Bear. Joe going to the top rope here. Joe leaps off with an attempted look like elbow drop. Didn't connect completely, but it looks like he connected enough to knock Pooh Bear down. Joe whips Pooh Bear towards the rope. Wait, sucks it back into a power slam. Side headlock from Joe to Pooh Bear. What's he gonna do here? Oh, snapmares him over. A big running, a running big boot after snapmare. Now it looks like Joe's gonna go to work on Pooh Bear's legs one more time. As I was saying, if Joe can control himself in his match with Die Hard, we very well may see a new world heavyweight champion at No Mercy. With that being said, Joe has to take into account that Die Hard has fought Alan Seibright, he's fought David Seibright, he fought Kieran for the World Heavyweight Championship, he fought Luigi for the World Heavyweight Championship, he fought Pooh Bear for the World Heavyweight Championship, he's he fought so many people for the World Heavyweight Championship, just off the top of my head there. So many people in such a short period of time, he is the definition of a fighting champion, and that's what makes him so dangerous, because he knows he anticipates what you're going to do in the matchup. And that's why Die Hard always seems to walk away with the World Heavyweight title. So if Joe can take Die Hard off of his game, make it so that Die Hard cannot mount an offense, like I said, we could be looking at a new World Heavyweight Champion, and he could be in the ring right now. Or, you know, on the flip side, Joe could become another, as Die Hard says, another victim of diehards and I know it sounds awkward as you can't really pluralize diehard but that's that's what diehard says a victim of diehards which is in his turn saying you're gonna become my victim but Joe here with the standing backflip the counter right very suddenly do you see a bigger guy like that do a backflip but you know when you're in a, match, a grueling match you know sometimes you do two things like that and uh, this match is having quite a bit of back and forth here. Pooh Bear's been on the offensive. Joe's been on the offensive. It's been a really good match so far. Sharp kick to the gut by Joe. And Joe with that big powerhouse of a spine buster. Now Joe dropping the fist right across Pooh Bear's face. As I was saying, though, you know, Joe's looking great, you know, in this matchup. And if Joe can continue to look like this when he's fighting Die Hard, he should do pretty good. Likewise with Pooh Bear. I mean, if Pooh Bear wins this, you know, later on down the road, as long as he keeps to what got him where, it, what got him to the dance, then he should be doing all right. Pooh Bear, which Joe sucks it back into that jumping leg lariat there, just shows how agile he is for a larger athlete. But uh, I, I'm still in sh in shock of Melinda Guerrero giving us that announcement earlier. Pooh Bear went to the top rope, went for it all, got that leg drop. Joe with a kick to the gut into a rear waist lock here. Pooh Bear counters with a snapmare. Joe with that big drop kick again. Pooh Bear counters from the ground. That running martial arts kick connects again. And now Pooh Bear going to work on the legs. Once again, Pooh going to work on the leg. He's just trying to stomp away on that kneecap, maybe softening up Joe. Over the next couple weeks, Joe counters from the ground. Oh, Joe with the huge running, almost an attempted big boot it looked like, but right to the chest instead of the face. And that powerhouse spine buster connects again. Joe may be trying to tear apart Pooh Bear's arms of Joe off that top rope, hits that body splash. Sorry about that, folks. We had a little bit of a glitch in our system. Kick to the gut. Wait a second, Joe. Going for the Joey Bomb. One, two, three, and just like that, the match is over. That could be the fate that lies for the World Heavyweight Champion Die Hard and No Mercy. One Joey Bomb is all it takes. So you better have your eye, you better have had your eyes on that match, Die Hard, because it only takes one Joey Bomb, and then you can be down for a three count. Remember, in a street fight, pinfalls count, Die Hard. It's not a